So I've been talking about flaws of mine left and right, up and down for a while now, and I have yet another one that I want to talk about. Something that I really feel like I need to get off my chest anyway. That being said, let's get started. Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. This flaw that I'm referring to is actually an emotion-related flaw. Now maybe it's because I am emo that causes this to happen. I have no idea. I've never met anybody outside of me who's emo before. If I have, then I don't remember them directly. Either way, one thing about me that I've noticed is that I have a hard time controlling some of my emotions. Not to a uh, dangerous extent or anything. Not where I need to go see a doctor over it or something like that. But let me go ahead and explain, give an example. It's hypothetical, this actually did not happen, but I'm going to explain it in a way where it makes sense. So, say I speak with a friend and I, dis I explain something. I ask them a question, they respond, and I take that to heart but a bit too much to the point where it expands into random similar topics of worry that make no sense. They can make sense if you think about it, but you'd have to think about it from a very specific angle, like that kind of thing. I guess a good example of this would be like a friend of mine who actually lives in the complex with me has spoken with me on several occasions. Uh, about certain topics when I need that kind of the comfort or the mindset to talk with someone about this. I'll confront them and ask them like a question about the circumstances. They'll respond and that'll jumpstart like a random similar topic that I question them. The pers This friend of mine will all of a sudden like go, wait, how did you put one and two together? Why are you asking me this when, based off what you asked me, which was this? I've always had a problem with that. My emotions have a tendency to get the better of me under these fronts. Most of the, This doesn't happen a lot, from what I've seen at least. Maybe I'm wrong. But I'll say this much. When it does happen, in the long run, I end up regretting what I say every time. I always feel like I either need to punish myself in some kind of way or I need to give off an explanation for what was going on in my head at the time to make it make more sense. Now thank God at the current moment the people I know are more than willing to forgive this kind of thing instantly. Most people aren't able to experience this and I'm sure at a point in time I won't be able to experience it either. If that time comes, I'll have myself to blame. But nonetheless, that doesn't excuse the fact that I struggle with the control of my own emotions. The idea I'm trying to, get, to give off under that example is basically that I'll, for the most part, I usually contain negative emotions. Anger, sadness, depression even, anxiety, Stress, distress to be more ex more um, um, direct, stuff like that. The emotions I just let go whenever are things like joy, happiness, positive positivity, optimism, stuff like that. I know those are about the same category, but because I do this. When it comes time for me to be hurt or sad or angry, that goes to an extreme degree. Because when that comes out, oh boy. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up right there. That phrase. I don't know. I feel like that is something I need to work on. I try to avoid doing this, but to the degree where I've put up a shield on myself before, but to the point where it's like if I start questioning things, I'll be talkative about the questions on what I'm questioning for more much longer than really needed. 
one question should be enough and I should be able to go, oh, okay, that's fine. We're done talking now. But instead, my brain goes, wait. But back at this point in time, you'd be fine with this. Or back when you told me this, it seems to contradict what you're saying here in the now. And I don't normally do that. The only times I would ever do something like that is if it's extreme and absolutely necessary. That doesn't happen often. <sighs> to be honest, I've been lost in thought about this kind of flaw that I've had for... This, these emotional flaws that I have, I've been lost in thought about these for the past two, three hours. It is very early in the morning right now, and I'm trying to keep my volume down. I still have yet to record one more thing, so that's going to be fun. But either way, I, the, this is what I feel about myself. Do you guys have any advice or any thoughts on the matter? I could really use it at the moment. I'm not too, before anybody t jumps into conclusions though, I'm not down about anything, because I've seen comments that say this in certain videos. I'm not down about anything, I'm not hiding anything, I'm not the kind of person to do that. Um, but I will admit this. There is an event that recently happened that is in regards to this. It was settled thanks to once again the fact that I just know people who are very overly forgiving and caring about circumstances like this. Please let me know your thoughts, and if you have any advice for me, that in the comments below. If you did like this kind of video where I'm really open or I'm talking about myself in real life, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't sit anymore. If you really like this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel because I at least do one of these, at least one of these type of videos every day, for the most part alongside a gaming video as well. In the meantime, though, click the links on the side of my head if you want to check out um, about me or discussion and rants that I've done prior to this one. For right now, I'm going to head off, but I hope to see you guys in another video. Bye for now.